Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims 4 Dreamhouse. And I'm so sorry that we tried that, that crazy go to school mod. I was so excited to go to school with the Twin Arenos. And then it kind of didn't work guys. It kind of fell a little bit flat because of the podium. The podium ruined everything. So I'm so sorry for you guys. I was going to open class. I was going to open class include that in my little mod pack. But I don't want to give you guys a broken mod. So I've taken it out. I've taken it out. I do have something new to try today, I'll talk about that in a little bit, I will talk about that in a little bit, but in the last episode, despite all the crazy school stuff, Emma managed to get Max as her boyfriend, <laughs> finally uh, it has happened, he's evil, he has, he, he's, he's sometimes a little bit kind of off with her and a little bit funny, and I think Emma has to be the one, I, I think she's, she's such a good amazing person that she's gonna make Max good and amazing as well. But about little Emily, she needs someone as well now, so she's been texting Taylor a lot. You guys said that Taylor was the one for Emily, so I think this episode, whereas Emma and Max are kind of content just to like, hang around the house and chill and kind of just be a bit more kiddish. I think Emily would want the real deal. She would want to like go out and go for a proper date. So I think that's what we will be doing this episode. So if you guys are excited, give it a little cheeky thumbs up. And guys, let's play some more Sims 4 Dreamhouse. Ah, guys, I still get g I still get giddy from playing this. I still get giddy playing this. <gasps> Gone. The school is gone. I didn't do that, but what I did do was delete the mod, and I think it's just repopulated that. Very cheeky. It hasn't repopulated this. Look. But everybody's still here. Okay. Okay. So it has repopulated that. It's got rid of the high school. We want to play as Emma Reno. I also, like, I got so into the idea of sending them to school. I love that they now have alternative school outfits. Like, I think that is, like, a nice thing to do. They have their little outfits for school. Which I think is good. We can change them into those before they go to school. Even if school is not going to be quite as exciting as we wanted it to be, guys. I also think they're due a bit of an outfit mix-up. It's been a while since those two have just, like, changed their hair. Changed the way they look. So I think we're going to be doing that as well. Who's going to be pooping? Place your bets now for the poops. <gasps> Neither of them. Error logged. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Pause, pause, pause. What is this? A script error has been logged at last exception. This error always happens as a result of bad mods. <gasps> but which mod is it, you guys? It won't even let me click off. Oh my gosh. Welcome to MCE Command Center. So this is what I want to tell you guys about. Because the whole um, school mod didn't work, and also I installed a mod called Risky Woo Woos. Risky Woo Woos! I like this because the, basically the idea of Whiskey Woo Woos. Whiskey? Whisk them Woo Woos up! But no, that's not what it is. It's Risky Woo Woos is that I had it set to 2% chance of every Woo Woo could result in an accidental pregnancy. Because, guys, that's. That is what real life woo woos are. You can't just woo woo all willy nilly, all irresponsibly, and not expect any babies. So the whole point of adding that mod was to make things a little bit more realistic. However, it didn't work because the mod was a little bit old, and there's been a lot of updates to the game since the mod has been released. So all that happened was no woo woos. We and stipulated and stipulated. Is that a word? We created a woo woo ban of SimWorld. Sims up and down the country were not able to woo-woo. So I had to remove that mod, mod because I blocked woo-woos, which means that the human population would die out. Which we don't want to do, guys. That's something we don't want to do. So instead, I've downloaded this MC command center, which I'm hoping will give me a lot of other options. So look. I can MC command center Emily Calorie Aiken. She is 15 out of 52 teens. It doesn't quite work like that. She has no children. It shows all her parents. And I should like relationships, edit relationships, set active relationship levels, set active romantic, uh, true lovers. I could like, I can just do all this stuff. I think. I, th I hope I've not just ruined something there. Also, these two freaks are meant to be at school. So I should be able to do a few little changes there. I don't know. It also has a woo woo setting, but I don't know how to change the woo woos. I don't know if it's possible to do that. These are the modules that have been loaded. Do I have to do it on like a PC? Where is, I can't do it on that PC because it's broken. There should be um, 
an option to do woo woos. <gasps> MC woo woo. Okay. So what I should be able to do is if a pregnancy happens, like what happened with poor little um, Sal Marino, I will stop her from being able to have a baby without me seeing. I hope that's one of the things. What is extreme woo woo? Woo when enabled, Sims will woohoo more often. This also auto autonomous autonomous re rest timer setting can be used to determine cooldown between woo woos. This setting requires autonomous 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 woo woos or autonomous try for a baby. Okay, I would like to set auto aut autonomous autonomous. Is that just for this active household? Sim may use active. Sim may try to use. Sim may use try for baby interactions autonomously with this setting enabled <gasps> okay i'm not gonna turn on that one i will turn on this one ba -ba. but that one is set to off okay i don't want any more babies in this house so that's fine with me birth control determines how many hours the birth control buff will last oh my gosh how do they even get birth control there is a lot of stuff we can do but i thought it'd be quite good in like summer and james's house if we set Aut autonomous. autonomous. I can't say that word very well. Woo-woos, then they could kind of do that themselves. They could kind of do that themselves. <gasps> Risky woo-woo percentage, okay. This is how we do. This, this is how, how we, we do, do it. it. Um, so I'm gonna set it to a healthy 5% chance. Boom. Okay, I do need to restart the game, but it's fine because nobody in this house is going to be wee wee win. So there's quite a lot of stuff we can do, guys. MC cleaner. Ch -ch 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 -ch. MC is in there like a DJ and MC. Neighborhood cleaner. Clean ghosts. I don't want to clean any ghosts, but basically there's a lot of cool stuff we can do, guys, which I quite like. I would hope, like, what I want to do is make the neighborhood act a little bit more autonomously so that you get all these new babies and stuff popping up everywhere. So maybe... Maybe it will impact that. If you guys, basically, this is the first time I've ever used it. So if you guys have used it, please. Oh, can you freaks please get to school? Freaks, freaks, go to school, go to school. Where's your stupid school? There we go. And you, you need to switch to your school outfit first, okay? Change outfit, school outfit. Look, this is the first time we'll have seen it. Pachow, okay. And then get your butt to high school, girly whirlies. Off you go. Goodbye, bye-bye. We don't, that's the, the, that's the geek con, isn't it? We don't want to go to geek con, we're fine, we're fine. So, why are you all dressed up, my love? You look very lovely, but I'm not sure why you're dressed up like that. I don't think you know why. Claire and Ali's faces always seem to be like, what has happened? When did we have so many, so many babies? Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, look at all these errors. Ah! Okay, I deleted the mods around the school. I don't know if it's like calling them to go to school still, even though I got rid of the high school. Claire's late for work. Oh my gosh. Can you get to work as well? I don't know why you dress like that, Claire. <gasps> Guys, I'm getting this error a lot. Uh, I think they're still trying to like interact with a mod that should have been removed. I'm very sorry about that. I'm probably gonna have to do a little bit more cleaning of that mods folder. Before I uh, unleash it on you guys. <gasps> Why does Ali hate Alice so much? Ooh, I don't even know who she is. But he hates her. He hates her. Okay, so I will I will clean that mods folder out. I think it's where I've tried to... Let's uh, hire a repair service on that bad boy. I think it's where I've tried to um, get rid of the bad school mod. Instead, I've just created some bad scripting errors, guys. Which I don't like. I don't like. However, what I do like... It's little Jessarino's room downstairs. Oh no! No, 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 no! Why so many errors? Guys, I'm gonna have to... I can't deal with that popping up every two minutes. Let's save and exit. So I deleted basically all those beautiful new mods I had last time. I think I added one that kind of... If somebody was like leveling up... How annoying is that PC noise? Ali... No! Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh guys, I'm still getting it. I'm still getting it. Ah! Ah! Damn it. I think it, it has to be the MC command center, guys. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, guys. This is, oh, why are you tense? Oh my gosh. 
Let's just fight again. <laughs> this is one of the issues that basically just comes from having mods, guys. You can't control this. You cannot control this thing. Sometimes it just happens, okay? It just happens. We can control it. You just gotta keep your mods fold up to date. Which, to be fair, I've been pretty good at keeping a close eye on the mod stuff. And it's the first time I've actually run into any big issues with the mods. But for some reason, MC Command Center, for me, ain't happening, guys. It just ain't happening. I'm very, very sorry about it because I wanted to show you guys it. <gasps> Why are you bored from watching kids TV? You're not watching kids TV, you big liar. You're watching Grey's Anatomy, you little cheeky butt. Look, he's thinking about oh. supercars because you can't get them in this game. What a cheeky butt. What a cheeky butt. So yeah, I'm not, I will upload the mod folder without the issue mods. It's a shame. If you guys do use MC Command Center, uh, the thing is, you might not have the same mods as I do because I have... I'm trying to think which ones I've got. I've got everything up to par- not everything, but I've got Parenthood and Get to Work. I think they're the two most recent ones. So they are the ones that unfortunately I'm having the issues with potentially, because if you have don't have those and MC Command Center is working for you, then you know what it is, guys. You know exactly what it is. So little Ali Pallarino oh. is all on his own. He thinks about James a lot. Ooh, Bila. How cute is that? How much she just want to wrap them up in a cute little cottonwool bud and then just give them little kisses on the heads because that's how cute they are. And he's getting a phone call. I bet this is James now. Oh, Emily won a school prize. Should she give it to everybody? Like, I think... I, I, I think Emily is the kind of person that would want it in front of everyone. So her emotional control has increased. Actually, excellence bunny award. Something I was thinking of is with Emma... She's been in a mood swing more or less forever. She's literally been in a mood swing her whole life. And I was kind of wondering if it could be one of these things that's doing it to her. And maybe she needs to up some of these things. So to increase her emotional control, she could wind down with radio, jog to clear her mind, use an instrument. I don't know. I just feel like she needs to, she needs to do something because her emotions clearly aren't in check at the moment. <laughs> I sent her off to go and do um, volunteering, but apparently that didn't help either. <gasps> now he's thinking about Jess of Reno. Ali, Ugh! you're like real life, Ali. You're so cute that I have to fight the urge to squish your face between my fingers because you're so, so freaking cute. So cute. Well done for hacking and stealing money from others. That's how we make money in this game. Actually, 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 actually. One of you guys tweeted me and said there's a bin that you can put trash in. And it gives back money. It was said it was two hundred dollars. Why is that one just randomly in the middle, really expensive? Like, oh look, it's a fifty dollars, fifty-five dollars, sixty dollars, eighty, eighty, one hundred and ten, one thousand two hundred simoleons. Why is it so much? Where is this one that gives me money back? Two hundred dollars. Why would this put money in? Why would this generate money when I throw things in it? I don't know. But I'm gonna trust you guys. I am going to trust you guys on this. Hopefully you're not just literally having me on. But look, it kind of doesn't look like a trash gun. It kind of could be a nice little sort of plant holder. That's what we'll say. So guys, if I can't, if I literally don't get money from that, I'm going to be so sad at you guys. You said the $200 trash can. And I'm going to trust you. Okay, I said that I was going to change the appearance of people. I know Ali looks so... Ali and Claire, actually, both were dressed up. They must have gone on a date. They must have gone on a cheeky date while we were in the house because they are just that in love with each other. I'm not going to lie, Claire's hair is kind of vexing me out a bit, so I am going to change her hair. Not to exactly the same hair, but a slightly different colour. What can I change Claire's hair to? And I know I need to age them up soon, guys. Don't worry. I'm very well aware of that fact. This is the same as Roxy's. But it's also, like, the most similar to my actual hair. So she's going to be like that for a while, guys. Okay? Don't laugh at me. Then, little Emlarino. Little Emlarino. I kind of am enjoying short hairstyles on her. Or at least medium length. Medium length hairstyles. How is that medium hmm. game? Oh my, she, she does not suit that hair at all. Like, it just looks very strange on her. <laughs> In my head, she's just not that kind of a sim. 
Like, she, I reckon she'd go for something like that. Like, that would give her no qualms at all. No, you know what, guys? I like her natural hair. I like her hair. I think her hair's really nice. The one thing I might do is I may change bed head, bed head into that one. Where did I just put it? Um, where's the one that just like ties back in the cute little plaits? Oh, she does look cute with long hair, look. She looks so different. She's so cute. Where's that one that's tied back? Am I actually just losing my mind right now? Like, what is even going on? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna give her that for like a night hair. I have to find it again now. <laughs> there. I might give her that for like her, and what about a swim hair as well? Oh no, I like that with a swim hair. Just for like a little bit of a differentiano. Oh my god, when did like, I always knew Emma was pretty. But I feel like she's gotten like a lot pretty. I don't like that makeup. I think it's that makeup that's putting me off her. There. Cause you know what? Emma is super pretty. She is actually super pretty. I almost want to take the blush off her. Oh no, I've somehow taken off her eyes. <laughs> there, she's so pretty guys. She's so pretty. Oh. Okay, let's let's change up her daytime outfit. She's been wearing this one for a really long time. Take off the eye makeups. Um, such happy music. I'm really struggling to figure out what kind of a top to give her, guys. Obviously not that. That is not Emma. I definitely would like some more clothes in the game. I think. I think this does it for now. And I've dialed down her makeup a little bit. So we've updated Emma Rooney a little bit. Emily, Emily, let's update you a little bit as well. There's really nice dresses for you to wear. Well, that sure is cute. That's your PJs. You can't wear those, oh. silly one. Can't wear a wedding dress, Emily. Oh. Is this top kind of see-through? I, You can see like a bit of boobage with that top, I'm thinking. I see a lot with that one. She needs to <laughs> get her butt hugging up. She needs to look super cute if she's going on her little date with... Taylor Riddle sticks. Why is your voice so loud in my ears? Ta dial it down, Emily. Hurting my ear cells. I'm in like a phase of just kind of like hating all my custom content. I really want to download new stuff. I don't know. I just don't like a lot of the stuff that I've got at the moment. I like this brow, blouse, this brows, his brows. I like this blouse, but Claire's wearing it. But I think it's the kind of thing Emily would go for. But I don't know, guys. I'm kind of just feeling hateful of things at the moment. Like, I think that's a cute date outfit. If she wants to like appear like quite grown up with Tyler, she needs to dress in something like that. Maybe like a nice little necklace with it. It's just kind of weird wearing the same clothes as your mum. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look at some hair options for her. Let's cheer myself up with some hair. Let's like remind me, like remember how her hair looks. Oh, her hair's so nice though. I don't know if I want to change it. Imagine if she went short and red. Oh no, she looks so weird. She could tie it up for her date. What is going on with how that hair is connected though? Like, does she need like a bobble in it or something? Very, very strange. Very strange. I'm not sure about that. I'm kind of obsessed with just giving everybody a ponytail at the moment. Like, I just want to do that with everyone's hair. <laughs> her hair's the same color as her skin though, so it's kind of weird. See, this is nice, but her hair color is just hideous. Oh my gosh, look. Her eyebrow is escaping through the front of the hair. I don't know, guys. I'm not feeling them. Like, I feel like her own hair is... That's, like, so her hair. I don't want to mess with the system. I don't want to mess with the system. Her hair's so beautiful. I think we'll just leave it the way it is. There we go. They've got slightly updated daytime looks. Their age is just so different looking. So different looking. Her hair's a bit of a strange colour compared to her sister's, isn't it? Never mind, there we go. I think I'm just gonna change Claire's top so that she's not a clone of her daughter. Because that's a little bit weird. <gasps> no, that's- Jesus Christ, that's horrible. There, that's kind of like nice. Like an off-shoulder jumper thing. Actually, she, you don't always- She's like real life Claire, she's afraid of going for colours. Like even then I'm like, let's go for something slightly darker. I never dare like just wear colours, although I still may not dare wear colours. That I've compromised. I've put colour on the top and no colour on the bottom. That's as far as I can go, guys. Colour is scary and hard, okay? What day is it? Tuesday. It's the Tuesday. Why is the maid always cleaning? She's always here cleaning. She needs to, she needs to settle down with the cleaning. Okay, Ali, time for you to make some more money. 
Why don't you do make money the... Should we make... Let's make a video game. Let's do that instead. Make yourself some legal money instead of always hacking. Always stealing money of others. We'll do some legit money making. Ooh, I like to see who walks by the house, guys. <gasps> Claire's been tapped to review a popular art show for one of the top art blogs. Opportunity to set readers straight or remember that art is subjective. Um... Uh, uh, art is subjective, but you still should have opinions. Which one did I say? <gasps> oh, Dia! Oh my gosh, yes, you can invite Dia Reno around. Claire writes a balanced review, critiquing the work shortcoming, but also complimenting some of the artist's better choice. She gets a small performance gain. Like, remember that James is making like $250 an hour. Claire makes 70 To be fair, though, she did change her career, so... You know, you've got to you've got to accept that it's going to be a little bit different. We still need to make some money. You guys also have said, and you're right, that Claire isn't painting people anymore. But that's because I don't. I'm not in love with the way the paintings look. I kind of think maybe Claire gets into photography instead and gets a little photography studio. What do you guys think? I think it's a nice idea. So these little cheekies at home. What kind of mood are you in? You're in quite a good mood. You are in quite a good mood. Why don't we hit up little Taylor with that happy text? Give him a little chat and then invite him to go out. In the meantime, Emily, Emma, you, you're learning, you are learning emotional control. Why, why are you the way that you are? Why do you hate life so much? What can she do? Jog to clear your mind. Why don't you go clear your mind, hun? Oh, do it geez. four times. Oh, Everybody gosh. knows. Fourth yeah. jokes are a, a charm. <gasps> oh, oh. <gasps> Let's go out and enjoy the day. He wants to just go to a cafe. Higher in the hedgehog. Okay. I mean, I was going to invite you somewhere a little bit cooler than that. Maybe we can go for a coffee there first. And then go and hit up the town, Taylor. But he invited her. This is a good sign. This is a good sign because... We all know that when Jesse invited Taylor out, he was not a big fan. Look, look, her emotional control is really good compared to Emma's. So this is where we met before. So right now they're just hanging out as friends. Hanging out as friends. But we can do better than that. Why don't you say hello? Give him a little huggerino hello. Us to just be friends? No. No. Taylor is a beautiful man. And you will make beautiful babies potentially one day, okay? So, be nice. And oh my gosh, change out your school uniform. He's an older teen. Huh. Outfits, change to your new grown-up outfit, okay? Oh. There we go. So she, no, she's still all young looking. Like there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Ask him if he's a single Pringle Arino. Look at Taylor. He is a handsome young man, you guys. Although when he's doing that sort of chipmunk smile, less so. He is single. Sure, he is a single okay. punk. Oh, look, look, look. Wow. Wait, stay still. Stay still! One of the sims over here has that beautiful hairstyle. I like that hairstyle. She's a happy little sim, isn't she? Look at her. Sophie! Sophie sees oh. the best in the world. Oh! Look at these two cheekies! <laughs> Blowing each other, little heart of Roonies, being Rooney big, fat you. cutie butts. Okay, can we travel with, um, travel with Taylor? Go somewhere better than the coffee shop, okay? Taylor will see me there. He's grabbing a coffee. It's up to us to decide where we want to go. Is there any beautiful restaurants here? There's a bar. <laughs> Can I like play somewhere while I'm here? The summer home. And there's nothing there. Now burn this. Burn this. We know where the good restaurants are, guys. They're in the city. And actually, I know we go there all the time. But it's a nice restaurant. Hello, Millie is here, five. Millie is here. Claire is here. Thank you for downloading or commenting or whatever wonderful thing that you did. Also, I want to take this opportunity while they're traveling to talk to you guys about Life is Strange. So I mentioned that I wanted to play it. And I was thinking of streaming it or just recording it. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to record it and give it a go. And then I was about 25 minutes in. And that game swears a lot more than I thought it would. I, was, I wasn't expecting it to be a sweary game. And so I really wanted to get your guys' thoughts on this because... Oh, well, we're here already. We're here already. I just wasn't <laughs> expecting it to swear as much as it did. And I kind of don't know... Oh, no, what are you wearing? 
I like your I like your other outfit better. Let's be a little bit more mature because Taylor's an older dude. And then let's ask for a table, okay? Where do we go to ask for a table here? It's a complicated restaurant, guys. There we go. Okay, request a table. There we go. Um oh wait, we can we can request a specific table, so let's do that instead. Where would it be nice to sit? I will continue with my story, guys, don't you worry. Because there's some tables upstairs, isn't there? Ooh. It's kind of a little bit more romantic upstairs. I think we sit up here. Um, yeah, I think we sit up here. If this was Ali, he would pick like this table. Like he likes the table that's kind of a little bit away from everyone and we can like look at people and we also like sit side by side. So I'm gonna request that table. Um, am I grouped up with Taylor? Yeah, he's running on ahead. So it swore a lot more than I was hoping for. And obviously I don't swear on this channel ever. And the Sims don't swear because they're like uh, Asha and Googlier and all that kind of stuff. And like, in Schuligung. Actually, I think that's just German. But basically what I'm getting at is they don't swear and stuff. Is that Taylor getting food? Taylor, fam, what are you doing? Fam, what are you doing? Why is there some fire? So, I kind of stopped recording and I was kind of a little bit put out and I wasn't really sure. I was not sure if I wanted to. Oh look, you guys, I thought you would sit on this side. <gasps> They're feeling flirty because they got a hot dinner date. Dinner, Emily's favorite sim ever. <gasps> Check! Everything is wonderful. Okay. Okay. Guys! Off the phones. Off the phones. Oh, Let's yes. do some nice little uh, romancerinos. Blowing kisses and whatnot. And let's order for table, okay? So, um, look at these two. They're having a good time. So yeah, I was I was thinking it swore a little bit too much. So I want to get your guys' thoughts. Because I don't know whether you want to see it if it's got swearing in it. If I don't swear. Or whether we just kind of console it off. I also don't know what kind of, what kind of other adult themes it's got, but I do really want to hear from you guys what your thoughts are on this. Let's get their chef's charts. And then let's get them a little start of Rooney. <gasps> a garden salad. Why not? Boom. There you go. Wait, build total 16. Wow, this place is cheap. Um, so I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on that because I don't know... It started to drop a few little F-bombs and whatnot, and I was just a bit... And I was not expecting it, shall we say. So, please let me know. Please, please let me know in the comments below. Because I don't only want to do Sims on this channel. I do want to mix it up. And I know you, some of you guys don't like that idea. But the fact is, if I only do Sims, I will get sick of Sims. Just because it's just the, it's just going to happen. And I love the Sims. I don't want that to happen. So I would much rather if we figure out some other games that we can play as well, that we all like, and we do that. So please let me know in the comments below. Have you heard her ordering voice? She's like, and then she never talks like that ever. She's literally just trying to show off in front of Taylor. Look at Taylor. Look at him go. Look at him go. She's feeling very flirty, guys. Look at this. Titillating, titillating banter. Comfy, she is, this place is decorated nice. She's feeling lucky. She's feeling lucky, it's got a great atmosphere and she's having a hot dinner date. These guys have really pumped up the romance. Says, oh wow, it just suddenly became very bright. They went from being like nice romantic date settings to like, it's too bright. It's too bright, guys. Oh my gosh, this lighting's like hideous now. Why is it just done that? Can I turn the lighting down? Set intensity of uh, this room. Okay, let's turn it right down. Down, 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 down. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much. Turn it up a little bit. Like this? And can we change the color? Maybe like, is that better? Don't just sit there singing to yourself. No, forget that business, you biggie. <laughs> She's so obsessed with the singing, guys. She's gonna be a famous singer one day. She can't ask him to be the boyfriend already, you know. What just happened? <laughs> we got a dilla 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 do deuce, but I don't know why. I don't know why we got them. <gasps> Foodies are here, guys. Look at this guy with his little top knot and whatnot. He's a, he's a very, very cool looking waiter. And if Emily wasn't here already on a date with a very handsome man, she may be casting an eye over that way. Emily can now compose and perform several short routines at the computer and microphone respectively. Can you, can you actually become a singer? 
as your career thing. I'm really hoping that you can. <gasps> she wants to tell a dirty joke. Emily, what do you like? Oh, I don't even think you know how to make flat, dirty jokes. <gasps> what does she want with Taylor? <laughs> she wants to make out with him, guys. You guys need to finish this dinner. Their relationship is hotting up, guys. She knows that he's cheerful, but she doesn't really know that much more about him. They're, why are they the only ones in the restaurant? <laughs> Where is everybody else's hot dates going on? Nobody else? Oh, they're all down here. Ah, this is where it's at, guys. This is where everybody is hanging out. And this is near where James and Salma used to live. I think they used to live in this one here. No, no, they didn't. In this one here. That's where they used to live, but obviously they don't live there now. They've moved to a new district. I actually don't know if you can see it from here. This place is kind of popping. The city is loud. Look, that's what we can hear. The train going by. Let's keep an eye on these two little loverinos, though. Mm. I kind of want these guys to be adults now. I was holding... Look how much stuff she's got going on. What? She did not like that. Like, I really wanted the school thing to work out so I could keep them as, like, teens for a bit longer. What is this face you do? Let me stop that. You're so such a beautiful good. girl. Don't be pulling Double. silly faces. Yeah. That's it. Look dignified and grand. Um, but now I kind of, I kind of am just wanting to, to get them as adults already, you know? Okay, they're on to their main meal now. So, the chef's choice is an omelette. This chef needs to push the boat out a little bit. Semi-firm beet noodles, hello, red noodles. They look freaking awesome. And we need a drink. We enjoyed the red nectar blend, but why don't we go for, we're having red noodles. So I feel like we need red wine. Oh my gosh, $45 a glass. I think her parents would freak if she ordered that one. You can order wine, I don't mind you guys drinking wine because teens could be 18. And I'm in the UK, you can drink at 18. In fact, I think in the, if you're in the UK and you have parents with you, then you can order a glass of wine at your table from like 13 or 16. Like you're allowed, or a beer. You're allowed to drink quite young. And in the home, I think you're allowed to drink more or less uh -huh. at any age. <laughs> I know that when I was young, like wine wasn't a taboo thing. And like me, if me and my brother wanted a glass of wine, we were allowed to have a glass of wine. Like not, not when we were like nine, obviously, but when we were like in our, Early Not teens fair. or like, like, I don't know. We were just allowed to try a little bit of wine. And as a result, I think we didn't go too crazy when we became teenagers. <gasps> the food has been delivered, but they're both doing wee wees. <laughs> it looks really nice. It looks really nice, but you guys need to come back and eat it. Okay, Taylor's back. Oh, he's digging in without her. Guys, have you ever seen such disrespect? Blow him a kiss. I'm going to get ready to screenshot it. Gonna get ready with a screenshot, guys. Okay, ready? Blow it! Screenshot. <laughs> I'm so excited by screenshot still. Do a screenshot! He's like sniffing his wine glass. <gasps> ah, it's so much fun doing this, guys. Look at that! Perfect capture of the blowy kiss emoji. <gasps> Look at her, then she goes. She's such a sexy one, guys. And this date has gone really well. Like, Jessie never saw such wonderful dates as little Emily Reno has had. She's a very, very good dater. Commanding complexity from great pairing. I did a good uh, wine and food pairing, guys. In fact, too good. They've already finished their wine. Okay, once you've done this, it's time to end the bill and pay. And then we can do some things that we can only do when we're stood up. Oh my gosh, Taylor's not finished and she's like, paid, done, gone. Why don't, go somewhere like never romantic. What about under this sort of tree here? Is there any, actually, is there a cute little bench somewhere? I just feel like these two will be much more grown up in how they go about dating each other than Emma and Max are kind of like your crazy, much more teeny ones. Whereas these guys, these guys think they're a little bit older than they are. But to be fair, Taylor kind of is. They go out dating in the city. Sit there together, guys. Don't forget, she wants to, uh, she wants to make out with him. He's getting tired as well, so we need to be aware that he will go home soon if we're not careful. Okay. Oh, what? Can I not make out? Let's see if they'll make out on here. <gasps> what the hell? Did he just disappear? Where's he gone? Taylor! Taylor, where? He just disappeared, guys. What? Oh my gosh. What is it about Taylor 
I mean, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Fair play to the guy. Fair play to the guy. Something about Taylor, he can't finish a date. He's got like this, uh, it's his thing. Everybody has a thing. Some people like stealing in shops. Some people like can't laugh. I don't know, I'm making weird things up now. But Taylor's thing is he can't stick around till the end of the date. I mean, she already paid the bills, so we know that's not what his issue is. But he has an issue, guys. He definitely has an issue. Do, 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 do. To be fair, she is tired. She's still flirty, though. Okay. Send him a flirty text. I meant to invite him back to stay at ours, but guys, it has not happened. It's fine. Go to sleep. Emma's in bed with her new little plats. Look at her. Guys, I'm noticing. This Ben has not given me any money. <laughs> Any money at all. Oh, because I don't have that MC commands thing anymore. Woo woo is in our safe again. So you guys, make sure you stick... Make sure the relationship goal for both of those guys stays beautiful. I'm desperate to know what has happened with this Alice and Ali because I have no idea who this dude is. I, I've never seen him before in my life. <gasps> Taylor is wanting to know if, if I want to go over to his house and hang out. The thing is, look, she's all stinky and she's like all gross in the shower. <gasps> He wants to hang out though. Why don't he come here instead? Our house is so much cooler. Invite him around instead, M. Lorino. He's keen though. He is keen. The day after the day. And he clearly wants to hang out with her again. Oh my gosh, look at her. <laughs> She's enraged from having a mood swing. She still hates being around her family. I don't know what to do with this one. I don't know what to do with her. I almost feel like she needs to move downstairs. Play with emotion, okay? Oh, she's hungry then. I'm just gonna be mad that I've, I've taken her away from her nice foodies. Ali earned four hundred and five pounds from investing this week, guys. Okay, let's grab some nice dindins together. And Taylor knows it's a sleepover. Hopefully, no. Look, he's sitting in there like a normal person. Why would you sit in there? Look, he's in here. Go sit with your potential future boyfriend, okay? They're such like they're gonna be a great couple, guys. I can just feel it. I can just feel it. Oh this no, now she's having a mood swing. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, she can relieve her stress with some video gaming with Taylor. Oh no, look at her. Guys, I hate it when they do this. She looks so cute in her little school uniform though. No, don't sit there crying. Look at Taylor, he's like... He's getting emotional too. Stop being so tense. It's a fun video game, come on. Why is she having no fun? Oh, she's having some fun. Oh, she's still stressed after all of that. Do you think if she throws a tantrum, she's gonna feel better? Nope. Guys, that didn't help. No, what are you doing? Taylor's here and you're just being a little bra. Okay, let's see if maybe making out in the closet will help her mood. Why is Taylor naked? I know what he's done. He's gone downstairs to the Jesse. Club Jesse, hasn't he? And he's trying to sleep in that bed. Yeah, I know your tricks. Everybody tries to sleep down here because you can swim in front. Of, people can swim in front of the bed. Like, if she was chilling out there, she'd know exactly who was in the pool at any one time. Oh my gosh, look at this nonsense. She's got to walk back all the way like this. It'll be 4am before any messing around happens, guys. <gasps> She's losing it. It's helping. Oh my gosh. Yes! Yes! Now she's playful! Hooray! This has worked after all. Wow, making out in the closet has definitely, definitely helped. Oh, he's super tired. <gasps> no! He fell asleep! Oh my gosh, they're messing around in the closet was too good. Okay, I was gonna ask him to be boyfriend, but he's too tired. He is too tired. I think you just gotta let him sleep. He also really wants to sleep in Jesse's bed. Look at this. I bet he comes outside here. Why does everybody want to sleep in Jesse's room? It is literally just that cool. Jesse's gonna freak out when she finds out. <gasps> Taylor's up. There he is, walking around with his top off. <laughs> Wait, she's meant to be going to high school. Yes, skip school because they have to, he has to it has to happen, okay? It has to happen. I know you're very hungry, MLMs. Are you gonna do it in a bathroom though? Where's he? Wait, where's he gone? No! Where's he gone? What's happened now? There he is. Oh my gosh. I thought he'd literally done another runner, guys. This guy 
is the best conversation escapist I've ever seen. Okay, let's see if this will work now. <laughs> yes, finally, even though they had some stinky food in front of them. Emily and Taylor are now boyfriend and girlfriend. Which means... Which means... Romance. Can they do it? Oh, they can exchange promise for this little cute guy. Mess. Oh, they got two options. Two little mess around options. And then you're gonna have to go to school, okay? Where are they going? Where are they going? <gasps> Look how pink Emily's room is. Just kicked out mum. Mum, get out of the room. <laughs> kind of awkward. Okay, while they're doing that, I'm gonna change. It's too pink in here, guys. It's just too pink. There we go. Let's change that one to a bit more of a warmth color. And then these guys, there they go. Doing a little chicken mess around, guys. Naughty little ones. Naughty little ones. <laughs> And then, I'm gonna change this light as well, it's just too pink. Okay, that was way better. Then you need to go to school, you big lazy butt butt. Okay? Don't go back to sleep. Don't go back to sleep. Go to school. He's like, I really should get going. Sure should you MLMs. School! Both of you, off you go now. Look at this reflecting against the wall, by the way. Oh no, it's the trees outside. So there we go, guys. At least they're all at school now. Ali's getting a call. <gasps> Emma trying to hack the computers. Oh my gosh, maybe you should secure his computers. No, serious. Tell her off. So, Emma is still hates being around her family. Like, I don't really understand why that is the case, guys, but she does. She really, really hates being around her family, even after all this time. I can't figure out how to make her love the dream house and its beautiful inhabitants. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know. The cleaner's here now to make things all beautiful. Everyone's at work except Dali because he just hangs around in his little Calvarinos all day long. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Dreamhouse. Emily and Emma now have boifs. And I'm kind of thinking, what do we do next? Because I want to make them adults. Some of you guys had a suggestion that maybe the twins move out and Emily... No, not Emily. There's so many characters. James and Salma move back into the dream house and kind of make this their house and then the grandparents can help out and Claire and Ali live out their old age here. Or potentially Claire and Ali downsize and move out somewhere else. The thing is, I'm not sure how much we play with them if we did that, so... I don't know on that one. It's a mabes. It's a mabes. But guys, let me know because we need some decisions about what we do with the Dream House series, but I think it's definitely getting pretty- look at Ali's hair. It's getting pretty close to that time when we need to age up the Twinolins into adults and then everybody is aged up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dream House. I'm glad the twins have a little boyfriend of Reno's and they all seem settled and happy in their love lives. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Sims 4 Dream House. Bye!